Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Thursday, the 24th of September 2020. Our topic today on the TV of destiny is man at rest, God at work. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Genesis chapter 2 verse 21 to 22. Thought for the day, you cannot worry God into working at all. You cannot worry God into action. It has been confirmed that amongst other conditions, maintaining peace and rest is a major requirement for the work of God in the life of a man. Our anchor scripture reveals that God had to put Adam to a state of rest through a deep sleep before creating Eve for him. This means peace in man is needed for the working of God. It is when a man goes to rest that God goes to work. Rest here does not mean a state of irresponsibility, physical inactivity or indolence. But the absence of anxiety, when man goes to rest, God goes to work. For as long as you are busy with worry, with pressure, with tension, you will find it difficult to attract God to work in your life. Adam was peacefully asleep when God took a rib from him and made Eve for him. Genesis chapter 2, verse 21 to 22. The way a child would sleep peacefully, that was how Adam slept. And God went to work on his behalf. The same state of rest happened to Peter in the prison in Acts chapter 12, verse 5 to, six to 8. Earlier on, James had been beheaded, if you remember that. And then Herod took hold of Peter, meaning it was now Peter's turn to be beheaded, to die. But despite that, Peter fell peacefully asleep in the prison while waiting for execution the next day in Acts chapter 12, verse 6. That is, they were to behead him the next day, yet he fell deeply asleep the very night before. People do not sleep when they are about to be executed the next day, but Peter was found asleep by the peace of God that passes all understanding. The senior pastor, my husband, has preached this elaborately in a message several times. So, beloved, you cannot worry God into working. You cannot worry God into action. Exodus 14 verse 13 says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. This means, if you remain calm, you will see the intervention of God. So stand still would mean calm down. You are under too much pressure. You are under too much tension. Just calm down, okay? Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 17 also says, Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Beloved, say to yourself, stand still. Say it. Calm down. Great. In Jesus' name, indeed, as you calm down and stay still, you will see God at work in Jesus' name. Remember this. You cannot worry God into working and you cannot worry God into action. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to be at rest so that God can work in your life. Number two, refuse to be anxious about the situations of life. And number three, cast all your cares upon God, for he cares about you. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, O Lord, I receive the grace to live above the cares, anxieties, and worries of this life. I receive the grace to rest 
so you can walk in my light. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'd like to lead somebody in praying and asking Jesus to forgive him or her his sins or her sins. And you want to do that, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Before I close, I'll be delighted to pray for you being your birthday today. Awesome. Congratulations. Happy birthday. As your day, so shall your strength be. I declare peace upon you. From the rising of the sun until the going down, may the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. This birthday marks the beginning of great things, higher heights, more increase, more abundance. I break the yoke of barrenness. I break the yoke of poverty. I break the yoke of stagnation. I break every satanic yoke on your life in Jesus' name. Congratulations. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah.